I'm going to admit something now that I'm a little embarrassed about. In my youth, I would sometimes lay out in the sun to get a tan. I know, I know, that's a no-no. We now have better info about the dangers of the sun. But seriously, before SPFs, people used baby oil, ask your grandparents. Now technology is lending a helping hand by making sure you stay covered under an umbrella, Ella Ella. Here's Albert Lawrence to explain. That's my best Rihanna, sorry. The sun is an amazing source of power, light, and warmth. But spending too much time in direct sunlight isn't good for us, and we've been inventing ways to block it for eons. Problem is, the sun keeps moving, which ironically helps shine a light on a shade solution. It started basically as a frustration. In my backyard, it's always hot, we're outside. We're always moving shades around, trying to correct the angle, moving the chairs around, so it kind of grew out of a necessity. It is a revolutionary idea combining robotic, mechanical, and industrial engineering. The Sunflower is primarily an intelligent robot that tracks the sun using solar energy for charging. I made my way to Pasadena, California to meet Armin Garabagan, who dreamed up a robotic, astronomically accurate umbrella called Sunflower. Armin, can you show us some of the original iterations of the Sunflower? Yeah, well, some of the stuff that you see here is the stuff we have explored over the years, and these objects basically all track the sun. We had to look at solar panel solutions and how do we take that energy and then transfer it into automation. It's not until we kind of get over to this structure right here that I can start to see the shape of a parasol. Right, so this was the first kind of hybrid jump from something super mechanical to try to start working on the blades themselves. The most important thing is that we had to look at the way the product had to rotate and follow the azimuth. It had to tilt and it had to close. So there's, in essence, three types of automated movements and all those have to communicate to each other as well as to the cloud. Armin gave me a demonstration of the umbrella using voice activation commands. Tell Sunflower to open. Opening Sunflower. So its natural inclination is to wake up in the morning, Mm -hmm. track the sun, and if nobody's home, it'll just close and go to sleep, and then wake up again in the morning and track the sun to always charge up its battery. It's got a mind of its own. It does. Tell Sunflower to tilt down by 15 degrees. Tilting Sunflower 15 degrees down. This is the core of what robotics is, because it's not just open-close, but it understands its position. It understands the angles. The motors have to be quite intelligent to do that. There's even an app so you can control the parasol from your phone. Do you see any irony in the fact that you're using the power of the sun to actually prevent the sun from coming down on us? Our answer to that is we don't really worship the sun. Um, Our products do. We use the sun to create shade. 